Now, after days of debate, NATO has agreed to take the lead in international military action against Colonel Gaddafi. Al Jazeera's Paul Brennan joins us now live from NATO headquarters in Brussels. Uh, Paul, what does NATO taking over the operation mean exactly? Do we know what the precise command arrangements are going to be? Well, it's a hugely significant political and diplomatic step, and from the point of view of command and control, it certainly clarifies what has been quite uncertain so far. Effectively, for the last week, since the French launched the airstrikes a week ago on Saturday, we've had almost two operations running in parallel to each other. The international coalition, led by France, Britain and the US, uh, doing the urgent work. I mean, don't forget last Saturday, Benghazi was under bombardment, and the pro-democracy fighters were under real threat of being heavily defeated, uh, almost before they could get their pro-democracy campaign off the ground. Uh, then we had the Americans saying that they were keen to give over the lead of the operation. They weren't wanting to get involved in the long term, not in the sense of leading the operation. And of course, we had concerns from the Arab nations, in particular Turkey within NATO, expressing concern that civilians were being uh, not targeted, but were being caught up in the fighting and were becoming casualties. So NATO decided that it was, going to, it was going to take the lead. The, the decision was that the uh, best way to hold a coalition together would be for NATO to take the lead. There was some intense wrangling about exactly how that might take place. And then last night we had the decision and we heard from the NATO Secretary General, Anders Fogh Rasmussen. NATO allies have decided to take on the whole military operation in Libya uh, under the United Nations Security Council resolution. Our goal is to protect civilians and civilian populated areas under threat of attack from the Gaddafi regime. NATO will implement all aspects of the UN resolution. Nothing more, nothing less. Paul Anders for Grasmussen says uh, their aim is to uh, continue this UN resolution, to, to implement this UN resolution, nothing more, nothing less. But do we know what level of cooperation uh, is going to be taking place between NATO and the rebel forces? Because undoubtedly the coalition airstrikes have helped the, the rebel forces make inroads in the last few days. Yes, I mean, th we, we don't is the honest answer because the meeting that took place uh, last night was classified. We are going to have a sit-down interview with Anders Fogh Rasmussen later on this morning and I'll certainly be asking him those kind of questions. I'm not sure I'll get answers to them, but I'll certainly be asking the questions. We know that a, a Canadian three-star general is going to be leading the operation and we know that uh, NATO has been able to assume control of, the no f of patrolling the no-fly zone as early as this morning. It may take a couple of days, perhaps into the middle of this week before they assume the full control of all of the operations because it's not just a no-fly zone there's also the arms embargo and the protection of civilians so it may take until the middle of, of this week until all of that happens uh, but certainly NATO now taking the lead and the hope is that with NATO in charge that will calm down the concerns of the Arab nations and keep them on side in this operation okay thank you very much Paul Brennan reporting there live from Brussels thank you.